They're just about to face a challenge, a stunt, that is absolutely impossible. Three, two, one, see ya. Humanity has always been fascinated by the open sky, and for centuries there has been an urge to crack the code of human flight. Sam Hardy, Nathan Jones, and Espen Fadness have come to Chamonix in France, a heaven for extreme air sports, to explore the boundaries of human flight. How about this? We know the weather's gonna be good. Targets, human targets, human darts. Human darts? Human darts? That sounds good. <laughs> human darts. So thinking out loud, we have a target, we're on a bullseye. How do you think we should make it? Like some kind of round target. Maybe like a circular target to the center. Yeah, then we can actually test a bit more of the precision as well. Run! Drop it! <laughs> that was awesome. Let's go. <laughs> We've got some paper rolls with us. We're going to make it a fixed target, so it can't move on any string. But we also need that safety factor. If we were to hit a little of this side of the target, we need it to break and bend, but we can't be hitting the wood because it's going to hurt. I mean, a good way to think of it is if I was to grab a broomstick handle and just whack you across the hand as hard as possible, <laughs> it's going to hurt. <laughs> the goal is to show you how impressive it is to hit the target in free fall with a wingsuit. I'm gonna hang up this dartboard in the goal of this football field. What we know from calculations of speed and distance, we know that Sam and Nate are doing 75 meters per second. So where are they one second before they're about to hit their punching target? One, two, three, 75 meters. So this, is the distance that Sam and Nate are having when it's one second left until they're gonna hit the target. So they're just about to face a challenge, a stunt, that is absolutely impossible. The line we picked for this challenge actually has a very small gully that works its way down the mountain. So that was specifically why we picked that line on Bravant, because it gave us this opportunity of having the target in a spot that wasn't too close to the ground, uh, but we could still easily set up. We were standing on top of Bravon, geared up, ready. The target was ready down in the couloir. It's time to execute. The boys are going to punch a target. Three, two, one. Man, that was perfect. I am so happy right now. I'm so happy, dude. Yes! Yes! So good. So Challenge good. complete, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs>